Welcome to So Crafty Sanai. I am Sanai. I am your cash stuffer, your budgeter, your all around chaotically cute <laughs> YouTuber. And I say that because chaotically cute is a thing for my brand. Everything is chaotic, but it's cute. Nonetheless, as you can see by the title of this video, we are going to be talking about the 15 benefits of cash stuffing. As you all know, cash stuffing is an old fashioned budgeting method that has recently resurged with the introduction from Dave Ramsey. And cash envelope stuffing is putting money into spending categories. And the goal of that is to help you save money. Let's talk about that. Cash envelopes are also known as sinking funds long or short term savings goals. These are the spending categories, whether you refer to them as cash envelopes or sinking funds. Me personally, myself, I refer to those as the cash envelopes I keep in my wallet for my variable spending. I keep my cash envelope wallet with me. I have a certain amount of envelopes inside of my cash wallet. And these I refer to as cash envelopes because these are the variable spending categories that I will spend week to week to week. And yes, the wallets are available on my website, socraftysanai.com, but we'll get into that later. My sinking funds, I keep inside of what I consider to be my cash envelope binders. So I have different binders for different topics. I'm not gonna say categories. I will call them different unique categories, I would say. Um, I have them lumped together based on that type of spending. Now, get into the benefits of this. Right? Benefit number one, cash stuffing helps you stick to your budget, right? If you only spend cash, it prevents you from going over your budget because you're not swiping a credit card. You can only spend the amounts that you have allotted during that particular pay period. And me, <laughs> if you watch any of my previous videos, I have a problem with that. I would swipe away, not because I didn't have the money, but because I knew I had the money in the bank. And it's like, oh, I only have a certain amount in my wallet, but I do know I have more money in the bank. I'm just going to swipe my card and just take it from the bank account. That's not sticking to my budget if I'm going to constantly just run to my checking account. I need to stick to the amount of money that I allotted for that spending. Tip number two, spending cash prevents you from impulse purchases. When you physically have to hand over cash, it makes you more aware and it prevents you from impulse buying. If you go into a store and you're like, oh, I see something on sale. I have to have this. Oh, I only have $50 in my wallet. I can't buy it. Had you had your credit card with you, you'd be like, you know what? I'll pay this money back later. I'll take two to three months to pay it back. Spending cash, the benefit number two is it prevents you from impulse purchases. Again, I am a victim of that. I am constantly like, oh no, let me just swipe my card. I'll pay it back later. I'll pay it back in two payments or I'll just take it out of my checking account. I only have cash. I can't buy it. I don't have enough. Next. The third benefit of cash stuffing. Again, I feel like cash stuffing is for me and me only. Okay. So far, one, two, and three is definitely the top three benefits that I'm cash stuffing as well. Benefit number three is it provides a visual representation of your spending. You can see how much money you have in each spending category right there in the envelope. And let me, let me show you what I mean. In each category, me money, I have a little expense tracker in the back that tells me number one everything i've spent my money on if you can see that and then it tells me the total i have left i don't even need to count the money i just flip open the envelope and i can look to the back of the envelope and there you have it i can see that i have 73 dollars in me money i have zero in dining out because clearly you see no cash car maintenance has ten dollars so it provides a visual representation of your spending categories and that for me is great whenever i'm in the car i'm getting ready to go in a store first thing i do is let me see how much money i have in the amount or the category i'm about to spend my money in there you have benefit number three. Benefit number four should be messed with benefit number three, because if I didn't even explain it in benefit number three, benefit number four of cash stuffing is mindful encouragement. Encourages mindfulness. Let's say it forward, backward, however you want to do it. Encourages mindfulness. And what that means is because you can see the money you have left to spend or the amount of money you have to spend, you stay mindful of your spending. You're you know that I'm gonna to wanna to eat lunch at work or I'm gonna to wanna to dine out, I'm gonna to wanna to buy coffee, but 
I only have X amount of money, that kind of plays hand in hand with that visual representation. But yet again, it's still another benefit because the visual representation of it is a benefit. But the other benefit is it encourages mindfulness of your money. Like it helps you to stay on point with what you have. So that again, the benefit of cash stuffing is to keep you from overspending and to stick to your budget. So all of these benefits are rolling up into one, but let's continue to break them on down. Benefit number five, and this is a little controversy for me. This is a little, I don't know about that, but I'm gonna tell you what a benefit of cash stuffing is. Benefit number five is it eliminates the need for tracking your expenses. Now, you know I am a firm believer in tracking your expenses, but I'm just gonna tell you why if you're a cash spender, it can eliminate the need for tracking expenses. And I don't promote that. I promote track your expenses. I track my expenses daily, even though I'm spending cash because I like to see at the end of the week, at the end of the month, how much money I'm spending, right? Even though, sounds crazy, but I've already determined that amount of money because I set my spending category. But I don't, I don't always spend the entire thing or there is a chance because if you do have more money, you can go over in a spending category. Let's talk about it eliminates the need for tracking your expenses because you're spending cash and you've already allotted $50 for dining out and you spend that $50 on dining out, there is no need for you to track your expenses, right? Because you know you've put $50 aside and you spent $50 on dining out. There it is. No need to track your expenses in a budgeting app, a worksheet, or things like that. Now, I personally still track my expenses because I'm usually one to go over budget. I need to see where my money is going. So I may have a lot of $50 for dining out, but I spent 75. I need to know that I went $25 over budget. Okay, so for me, if I don't write that down, I'm not gonna remember a week from now that I spent 25 more dollars than I should have. The benefit is it does eliminate the need for tracking your expenses. However, for people who, like me, don't have that under control, then guess what? I'm gonna track my expenses. Or you may be better, more responsible. You may be more adherent to it. I'm still gonna track my expenses, but that is one of the benefits of cash stuffing one of the 15 benefits, might I add, that we're gonna to discuss today. Benefit number six, benefit number six, it reduces stress. Now, I can talk about this for days because I am willing to do any and everything to reduce the amount of stress in my life, <laughs> okay? Cash stuffing reduces the amount of stress because knowing how much money you have in each category and knowing your financial position, it does eliminate stress. You're not worrying, how much do I have? How much am I gonna need? Ugh, you know, that anxiety bubble is not going off because you already know when you sat down to do your budget, because as I stated in my other video, and now the video here, my biggest advice on how to start cash stuffing, one of those pieces of advice was you need a budget. So again, it reduces the amount of stress because you know what you have in your spending categories and you know your financial position at every moment in time during your pay period, okay? So we are on a roll. Benefit number seven of cash stuffing. So the seventh benefit to cash stuffing is it teaches you financial responsibility. Cash envelope stuffing teaches you to be responsible with your money and your spending, okay? So if you're not gonna learn anything by spending cash, setting those spending categories is, it's gonna teach you to be a little bit more responsible. That awareness brings about responsibility. It's really simple. It teaches you to be more responsible with your money. I think if not, it's the biggest benefit to cash stuffing because that's the whole point of sticking to a budget, creating a budget. It's being financially responsible with your money overall, no matter which way you think about it. So a lot of these things may seem like rocket science, not rocket science. It may seem like who didn't know that or we know that already. You'll be surprised. Sometimes you need to hear it and you need that understanding. So let's talk about the next, the eighth benefit to cash stuffing. It helps you to save money. There you have it. 
okay? By sticking to a budget, you can save money for future expenses or goals. I created a budget, I'm cutting back. Me personally, I'm on a mission to pay off debt. But if I don't stop spending, if I don't stick to my budget, if I'm not financially aware, and if I'm not cash spending, I'm not going to be able to save more money so that I can put towards debt. It's just not that habit of control that I have. I'm going to keep using me as an example because I know I'm not the only one out there. And I know that a lot of people want to pretend like, yeah, I don't spend money and I'm just so great with my money. And I'm just, and I'm like, yeah, good for you. I'm not. I have a shopping problem. I want to buy, I don't care if I'm going into Rite Aid, CVS, Target, you name it. I'm going to find something. Five below. Who goes in five below and spends $100? It's five and below. But there you have it. <laughs> I'm just giving you an example. But that's the eighth benefit to cash stuffing. It helps you to save money. I know a lot of people want to hear this and this is benefit number nine and this is the truth, okay? So don't be scared. Don't feel like it's the biggest or the hardest thing ever to do in life. The ninth benefit to cash stuffing is it makes budgeting simple. Cash envelope stuffing is the simplest way to budget your money. It doesn't require you to do anything. All you need is you can find some white mailing envelopes, a pencil, a paper, and a calculator. I tell you that all the time. And, and even if you want to carry money in your wallet, you can put little envelopes in your wallet. You can put little paper sticky notes in front of each portion of the money with me money, dining out. So you don't need anything. I guarantee you have everything you need in your house. It's the simplest way to budget. But that doesn't mean you can't have fun with it. And as you can see from So Crafty Tonight, we have all the fun tools to help you manage or budget your money and cash stuff. <laughs> so, but it is a simple way to budget. Don't feel overwhelmed with the need to have everything to cash stuff. You don't need it. Trust me. This right here, which is the 10th benefit to cash stuffing, is honestly the truth. It promotes teamwork. Whether you believe it or not, you may start on your cash stuffing journey alone, but you'll be surprised by how you're roping in everybody in your family. You're making your family financially and consciously aware of their spending, the household spending. Like even my little kids are aware of how much money they have when they go to the store, how much money they can spend. So the 10th benefit to cash stuffing, it, it promotes teamwork. It really, really does. And we're extending that branch of knowledge onto our family members, onto our friends. You'll be surprised how many people around me now are so financially conscious of having a budget, cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges. Like it promotes teamwork. It opens up that network like it's amazing. That is a huge benefit alone, the fact that you can pass on that knowledge that others aren't normally getting. Like you can't even beat that 10th benefit of cash stuff. Now, we're going to talk about the 11th benefit to cash stuffing. Now, I feel like I want to crawl under a rock because your girl is not that good with this one. However, it is a benefit to cash stuffing just because I haven't hit ding, ding, ding. Every check mark for each benefit doesn't mean I'm not on my way. So the 11th benefit to cash stuffing is it helps you avoid debt. Like, I don't even think I need to explain that, but I'm just going to say this. By sticking to your budget, you're less likely to accumulate debt. By spending cash only, you're less likely to accumulate debt. And if you want to know why, it's because you're not using a credit card. You're using cash. If you use cash for all of your spending, then what is the debt for? So if you haven't seen any of my videos, like if you can check out one of my older videos, I'm gonna put that right here, my weekly expense cash stuffing, where I would still set spending categories up. And in those spending categories, instead of using the cash, I would swipe my card to represent that amount that I allotted. Then at the end of each week, I would go back and do a cash unstuffing, pull out that money and pay back those credit cards on a weekly. Now, we all know the problem with that is because the limits on the credit cards are astronomical, but the money in that cash envelope is very, very small. And so there you have it. 
I'm going over budget because I have more credit to spend than I have in my cash envelope. Now, I do have the money in my bank account to pay for the spending, but that's not what the budget is supposed to do. I'm supposed to stick to the amount that I allotted. So I'm a perfect example of there you have it. <laughs> but for the month of March, all cash spending, I am doing great. Can I get on a pause? Yeah. Here we go. Benefit number 12, it increases financial awareness. Now I have to get real serious on this one because financial literacy is a big thing. And I have taken part in a lot of volunteer work where I would go out to urban areas and I would do financial literacy awareness through my job and things like that. And now with me um, having So Crafty Sanai and having it based on budgeting and cash stuffing and helping people manage their money better, that financial awareness is actually the reach is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So it it increases financial awareness, but this is so important that by using cash envelopes and cash envelope stuffing, you become more aware of your financial position. And I think everybody needs to have that overall look on their financial position. You need to know how much money you have. You need to know where your money is going. You're gonna always fall into a hole if you don't know you only have $1,000, but you're spending 1,500. Something is not right there. So we need to be more financially literate and we need to have that financial awareness of our specific financial circumstances. And I say that to everyone. The first thing you need to do is determine what you have and then where is it going? It's a very important benefit of cash stuffing. So for this next benefit, and this is benefit number 13 of cash stuffing, and if you're anything like me, oh, yes, I like to have control, honey. Control. Yeah, Y'all remember Janet Jackson's song, so nonetheless, I should have done that. Sorry. But I do like to have control. It provides a feeling of control, okay? And by having control of your spending, it gives you more control of your financial situation. And spending is a part of your financial situation. Your income or the ability to bring in additional income is another aspect of your financial situation. So when you know or you understand the benefit that cash stuffing has, it gives you a sense of control over that particular part of your financial situation. It is a huge benefit because I do feel great at the end of the week when I look at my wallet and I know that I did not go over budget on anything that I know I am closer to hitting my target. I am saving money because I was determined to cut back on certain spending categories. And I did that. It gives me a sense of control. I am controlling myself with how I manage my money. And that is important for me because I was out of control. Let me say that. Number 14, benefit number 14, benefit number 14. It encourages creativity. I started this journey. So Crafty Sana did not even exist when I started this journey, you guys. And I don't know if you can see the smile on my face. You can hear it though. It encourages creativity because now I'm gonna toot my horn. Now I'm gonna toot my horn. I, I designed this wallet with a manufacturer. I designed this wallet. I designed it. Yes, I did. And the wallet launch is coming in april of 2024 there are going to be a variety of colors and there are going to be different materials in this particular style this is considered to be the zippy Lux wallet i have a whole zippy collection and now i'm going to show you but let's get back to it encourages this creativity because i've went through so many styles of cash envelopes cash envelope wallets i've even designed a budget book the payday budget book so just for me starting my cash envelope journey, it encouraged me to create so many things that I saw a need for in our community. So I'm a firm believer of cash envelope stuffing encourages creativity because you can design your own envelopes. You can personalize them to your budgeting needs, the colors, the styles. Like there are so many um, small business owners out here selling those very things that they've created. It encourages creativity. And that is a benefit because anything that brings out your creative juices, it brings out a sense of enjoyment, a sense of fun, motivation, 
it's all a positive. I am a firm believer in all positive energy. That is the 14th benefit to cash stuffing. Stuck it out with me. Y'all stuck it out with me to the end, to the end. Y'all are down with your girl to the end. I applaud you. Thank you so much. Drop an emoji, drop the money bag emoji if you made it all the way to the end. But guess what? I think I may have something else to say. Nonetheless, the 15 benefit to cash stuffing is it can be used in conjunction with any budgeting method. Like you can cash stuff there. And, and again, one of my next videos um, on the different budgeting methods that you can use along with how to create a budget, you can use cash envelope stuffing with any of them. You can use it with the 50, 30, 20 budgeting method, the zero based budgeting method. You can use it with my budgeting method, which is the budget your way budgeting method. I budget my way. Like sometimes I do zero base. I want to do the 50, 30, 20. So the 50, 30, 20, and I've gave an example of the 70, 20, 10, but it has to equal 100%. So that means 50% of your income goes to major expenses and things you need to live. So that is gonna include your fixed expenses and your variable cash envelopes in my book, okay? Then the 30% can go towards savings and investing. Some say the 20% just can go to you. The 20% can go to debt. So again, it's a budget your way type of thing. You design your budget to fit your needs. So you decide the 50 should be the 50. The 30, it can fluctuate what you want that 30% to be and that 20% to be. But nonetheless, the 50% covered your fixed expenses and the things you need to live, live like food, transportation, um, and then your fixed bills, like your mortgage, your rent, your car, and things like that. So, but there you have it. That is the 15 benefit to cash stuffing. It can be used in conjunction with many, many, if not all different budgeting methods, except for one where you use no cash. But if you are digitally using cash envelopes, then you're still setting your spending categories. You're just not physically stuffing the cash. But again, people make that work too. I'm not... I need the cash. Even if I'm spending my card, I need to see the cash. I need to put that cash physically in an envelope. I can't digitally put the money. That doesn't work for me. It doesn't, but I do know a lot of budgeters that do that and it works great for them. You might have to stop by their channels <laughs> to understand that method a little bit more. I'm all for what works for you. That's what I'm gonna promote. I'm gonna promote that positive energy that gets you to stuff cash the way you need to do it in the best way that it works for you. So we were able to get through this whole video and discuss the 15 benefits of cash stuffing. I hope that these benefits were useful to you. I hope that they will help you on your cash stuffing journey to accomplish your savings goals, cutting back on your spending and whatever else that you intend to do it with. Make cash envelope stuffing easy with the right tools, right? And again, as I always state, you don't need to buy anything to cash stuff. However, we do what we love, we do what we like. And here over at So Crafty Tonight, we have the cash envelope wallets, the cash envelopes, the budgeting tools, the budget book. We have everything you need to make that journey fun. Okay, so as you can see, you can stop over at SoCraftySanai.com. We do have the Zippy Lux wallet, and that's just one wallet. There is a new spring collection coming out with some beautiful colors. We have the mini Zippy wallet, we have the Zippy wallet, the Zippy XL, and the new launch of the Zippy Lux wallet. But cash envelopes are a great way to assist you in your journey. But again, you need a budget first, and we have our payday budget book, which is a budget planner, as some would call it. I refer to it as the budget book, but it is a planner. It is a planner to help you budget your money, your paycheck, whether it be weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. It allows you to budget the money as it comes in. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please stay tuned for my next video. Please, if you like this video and you would like to see more of these videos, you can leave any comments below of the videos you would like to see. Please like this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, don't go without subscribing. And I do have a link down below to join our mailing list so that you guys stay up to date with all of the information related to So Crafty Tonight, our promotions, our newsletter, everything, any information I have to share, join our mailing list and you will not be left out. See you in my next video. Bye.